What's up guys? Quick video on mentors. So I have a lot of mentors. I have mentors in life that I work with. I have mentors that I you know, uh, follow in, on YouTube. I have mentors that are not even alive anymore that have inspired me and you know, books I've read from these people who have really um, you know, basically helped me get more in touch with myself and um, you know, just giving me knowledge that I'm very, very thankful for. But the importance of mentors um, is that I think a lot of times, especially when you're younger, especially I'm going to speak for myself. Um, there was a time in my 20s, early 20s, where I wanted to break off and I really didn't want to listen to anybody because um, for me, I think I wanted to kind of learn myself and learn my own lessons without anyone, you know, saying, well, this is how you should do it. This is what I learned. It's like, I didn't, I didn't care what anyone else was doing because at the time I just kind of wanted to learn from my own experiences. What ended up happening was at one point I, you know, was really into spirituality and I realized, you know, and I did have mentors. I was, I was reading these books and stuff, but I realized at one point, like, okay, I need to see if there's other people having some of these experiences that I have uh, with meditation. I want to know what else is out there. So I started going on YouTube and discovering there's a whole host, there's a whole community of people that have been into spirituality as well. And it almost made me jealous at first. And this is this is the reaction of someone who, you know, who is, doesn't want to hear it from anybody else. Um, I wanted the information, but at the same time, I was bitter at the fact that I couldn't figure it out myself. And what I realized is a lot of these people in these communities, they got help along the way from somebody else. And it finally occurred to me that there is no shame in getting help from others. There is no shame from um, getting the assistance you need. The, the funny thing is, no matter how independent like a lot of us think we are, we're still interdependent and I think it's wonderful it's wonderful to you know have a sense of independence it's wonderful to figure things out yourself that's great but it's also wonderful to be open-minded enough to take in other people's um, advice other people's assistance other people's uh, you know information their 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 perspective from their experiences this is very very important um, especially like over the, the coaches I've had over the years you know, in football, in, in soccer, in, uh, you know, martial arts, all of these things, they, they have been so helpful for me because I don't, when, when you begin any of those skills, you don't know anything. You might have like a natural knack for throwing a ball or something or, you know, kicking a ball or, um, or throwing a kick or a punch or something, but there's still so much to learn. So I am so thankful, you know, and, and I, that, at that time in my 20s, you know, I came to realize like, you know what, and, and some of these dudes who are teaching were also addressing that same thing, that once upon a time, you know, they weren't open-minded, and, you know, they started opening up and realizing, like, hey, you know, I want to take information from everybody. It doesn't matter if you're older than me, younger than me, like, if, if somebody has something really um, interesting and, um, you know, helpful, I'm willing to, to listen and to absorb it and to pay attention because, you know, uh, I always want to grow. So anyway, that's my concept on the importance of mentors. I'm sure you guys can have so many other reasons for why, you know, having mentors is important. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that. So anyway, cool beans, guys. Peace. Have a good one.